Susan Plachette, a timeless figure of classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the golden age of cinema. Her talent and charisma have graced the silver screen in a way that few of her contemporaries could match. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this classic Hollywood actress? In your view, what makes Susan Plachette stand out from her contemporaries in the golden age of cinema? Now, let's delve into some random facts about Suzanne Plachette, shedding light on lesser-known aspects of her life and career. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, especially your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Susan Plachette, the captivating talents beyond Hitchcock's muse Susan Plachette, a name that resonates with timeless elegance and unparalleled acting prowess. While she is often remembered as the enigmatic love interest in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, there's so much more to this remarkable actress that often remains hidden in the shadows of her iconic roles. Born on January 31, 1937, in New York City, Susan's journey into the world of entertainment was not a conventional one. She was a bona fide theater enthusiast from a young age, and her education at Manhattan's prestigious High School of the Performing Arts marked the beginning of her love affair with the stage. While her passion for acting was undeniable, Susan initially pursued a career as a singer before realizing that her true calling lay in the realm of acting. Her early years in Hollywood were marked by a string of supporting roles in various television shows and films. But it wasn't long before her undeniable talent and charm caught the eye of the legendary Alfred Hitchcock who cast her as Tippi Hedren's rival in The Birds. Susan's portrayal of the sophisticated and mysterious Annie Hayworth was a standout performance, earning her critical acclaim and recognition as a Hitchcock muse. However, it was her role as Emily Hartley in the groundbreaking sitcom The Bob Newhart Show that cemented Susan Plachette's place in the hearts of millions. Her character, a witty, independent woman with a sharp sense of humor, broke away from traditional gender roles, making her an early feminist icon in the world of television. Susan's chemistry with Bob Newhart was electric, and the show's success was, in no small part, a result of their incredible partnership. Beyond her acting, Suzanne was a woman of remarkable wit and intelligence. Her innate ability to command the screen was balanced by her quick, incisive humor off it. She made regular appearances on talk shows, displaying a candid and delightful personality that endeared her to both audiences and fellow actors. Susan Plachette's achievements extended beyond the screen. She was a dedicated advocate for animal rights, raising her voice in support of animal welfare organizations. Her passion for this cause was evident, and she remains an enduring inspiration for those who strive to make the world a better place for our furry friends. Susan's life and career were not without their fair share of challenges. Her battle with lung cancer, which she bravely faced and publicly discussed, shed light on the importance of early detection and awareness. Her legacy, including her advocacy for health and the rights of animals, endures as a testament to her resilience and compassion. In her remarkable career, Susan Plachette left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment and beyond. Her timeless beauty, unmatched talent, and unwavering dedication to her craft continue to captivate audiences, reminding us that she was not just a muse but a trailblazer in her own right. Susan Plachette, a notable figure in the world of entertainment, had a life filled with intriguing experiences. One of the key moments in her life was her involvement in the Broadway comedy The Golden Fleecing in 1959, where she met her future husband, Tom Poston. However, their marriage didn't happen until more than 40 years later. Aside from her personal life, Susan Plachette also had professional connections worth noting. In 1980, she gave the eulogy at David Jansen's funeral, demonstrating her close ties to the entertainment industry. Furthermore, during the filming of her guest spot on The Fugitive in 1963, she became entangled in a three-month affair with the show's star, David Jansen. This affair happened amidst Jansen's marital problems with his then-wife, Ellie, but Susan decided to end it when Jansen delayed filing for divorce. These facts shed light on different aspects of Susan Plachette's life from her personal relationships to her connections within the entertainment world. They offer a glimpse into the complexities of her life beyond her on-screen roles and show that her story was more than just her acting career. Susan Plachette's life was marked by unique experiences and connections, making her a fascinating personality in the world of entertainment. 
Susan Plachette was the first and only female non-singing, non-comic guest host on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in 1962. This achievement marked a significant moment in her career as it demonstrated her talent and versatility as an entertainer. During her appearance on the show, she shared an interesting anecdote about her career. At the time, she was under contract with Warner Brothers and had been cast in the movie Palm Springs Weekend. However, she adamantly refused to do it, fearing that it might harm her career. This led to a clash with a studio executive who told her that the sign outside read Warner Brothers and not Plachette Brothers. She eventually got her way and was forced to appear in Wall of Noise instead, while the role in Palm Springs Weekend went to Stephanie Powers. Plachette humorously recounted that Powers was so upset about taking her place in the movie that she refused to speak to her for years afterward. Susan Plachette's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by her determination and unique achievements. Her contributions continue to be remembered, and she rests in peace in a family plot at Hillside Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California, between her two late husbands, Tom Gallagher and Tom Poston. Susan Plachette, known for her work in both television and film, had a career that took a unique trajectory. She started in theater before transitioning to film, where she gained recognition. However, she made a pivotal decision against her agent's advice to accept television offers, leading her to become primarily a TV star by the early 1980s. Susan Plachette's journey in the entertainment industry began in the theater. She honed her acting skills on the stage before making the move to the big screen. She starred in several notable films, including The Birds and Rome Adventure, which helped establish her as a promising actress in the movie industry. However, Plachette's career took an unexpected turn when she decided to embrace television, despite her agent's reservations. This decision led her to iconic roles in TV series like The Bob Newhart Show, where she played the role of Emily Hartley. Her performance in this show earned her critical acclaim and a permanent place in television history. As the years went by, Susan Plachette's television work became the focal point of her career. She continued to work in various TV series, showcasing her versatility and acting prowess. This transition to television allowed her to maintain her presence in the industry and build a lasting legacy. Tragically, Susan Plachette passed away less than a year after her husband, Tom Poston. Her death marked the end of an era in Hollywood, but her contributions to both theater and film, as well as her willingness to embrace television, left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. In summary, Susan Plachette's career started in theater, moved to film, and then saw a shift toward television, where she solidified her status as a beloved actress. Her decision to follow her own path in the industry, despite initial advice, ultimately defined her remarkable career. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the life and work of Susan Plachette, I invite you to pause and reflect. Susan was more than just a talented actress. She was a captivating presence on screen, a voice that resonated with authenticity and a source of inspiration for many. Now it's your turn. I encourage you to share your cherished memories, your most profound thoughts, and the emotions that welled up within you as you watched Susan's performances. Whether it's her role as Emily Hartley in The Bob Newhart Show or any other character she portrayed, let's celebrate the moments that left an indelible mark on your heart. Susan Plachette's impact on the world of entertainment was profound and her legacy endures through her timeless performances. She reminds us of the power of storytelling and the ability of an actor to touch our souls. We appreciate your time and interest in celebrating the life and work of this remarkable actress. So with that, share your thoughts, memories, and reflections. Let's keep the spirit of Susan Plachette alive in our hearts and in the stories we share. Thank you for being a part of this tribute and thank you for your time and interest.